Hooker down the middle of the pass. It's intercepted. There it is. Hooker, 30, 25. Hooker, 20. You've had an interesting run up to year four. Rookie year, kind of learning, growing. Second year, the COVID year 2020, you find a role on the team. You're certainly part of the defensive package. Last year, you become a starter. What's that been like? I mean, it's, it's been awesome. Um, I was just talking to my parents, you know, the other day about, like, about my journey and, you know, how I was saying, like, when I was a rookie, like, watching Kevin and um, Adore and them come out, you know, how, you know, they're, they've been in the league for a while and established and have some years of starting under their belt. And, you know, I was like, one day I'm going to be at that point. And I just, it's going to take a while. It's going to take time. I just got to be patient. But you know, if I could just learn from guys in front of me and older guys and just take as much as I can in. Has it been an experience almost like college at Iowa? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I refer to all the time. Like my freshman year, it wasn't, you know, wasn't a starter special team, kind of played a little bit on defense. And then sophomore year, started a couple games. And then my third year, I was a starter the whole year. And then I left. So it's kind of like that same kind of, um, kind of same routine as it was in college as well. What's the most important thing that you've learned that you've been able to apply to get you to this point? Never being satisfied and always, always willing to learn. Always being able to take information in, uh, whether it's someone doing something negative I can learn from it or a positive thing. Um, and just slowing the game down and you know, not making it as big as you know, they, they make it seem you know, when you're younger, it seems like it's huge and all this. And then you know, when you get here, you just kind of have to, you know, I, I can play at this level. I can do the certain things that you know, I've seen other guys do. Why do you and Kevin Byard bind together so well as the safeties? I think we both love ball. We both have a knowledge of the game. We both just complement each other. We, understand, we talk with each other all the time about like, what we want to disguise and what we want to do here. And then, you know, we, we both ballers. We both just make plays. We both just find a way to help the team win. You claim to be the best basketball player on the team. You've claimed I, that before. I mean, I haven't, you seen, still do? I haven't seen the rookies yet, but I'm, I'm going to hold that to okay. for now. But you and Kevin are like a backcourt in basketball, mm -hmm. yep. complementing one another in that way. Is that a, a good comparison? Yeah, it's like two point guards out there. It's like literally like we want to get guys lined up if we can. If someone makes a mistake, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully we can help them out and communicate and, you know, get guys lined up. And that is kind of how it is like a basketball, you know, just making sure that, you know, we're not technically giving assists as like passing the ball, but, you know, we're assisting by, you know, giving help to where it needs to be and assisting by helping guys out. What was your welcome to the NFL moment? I'd probably say it was Odell Beckham the first, the first game of the year. We had Nick Chubb, and, I'm, and then you had Miles Garrett. I'm watching them. It's, it was crazy. It was pretty sweet. What's the goal for 2022? Super Bowl, honestly. I mean, that's, I mean, that's personal for me. I mean, even though it's a team goal, but like, that's always been a personal goal.